Right, here we are. I'm going to do a board review. One of the boards that we're making at the factory from the Love Machine range from Ryan Lovelace. Awesome shaper, synonymously known for his v bowls templates, FMs, the piggyback. He's world renowned for, for class quality board design. He's done it again. This fish is, I'd have to say, one of the best fishes I've ever cast my eyes over. It's not just, let's make a surfboard that looks like a fish. There's some really key design characteristics that make this board really, really usable in high performance surfing. You can see from the footage of his team rider, William Aliotti, who, I mean, he's treating it like a short board. The, the rail calves that he does on this thing is incredible. So I'm looking today at the 5.9 template. The dimensions I've got written down here, 5.9, 20 and 7 16 by two and a half, packing 34.1 liters of foam in. And trust me when I tell you, it doesn't feel thick. There's a, a very flat deck that comes from the sort of no beak beak, almost like a completely flat on the deck and then it foils down. Where you can see our beautiful blue panel, the rail has a chine that drops down into quite a nice, I wouldn't say pinched, but just a nice, low sort of almost short body rail, a little bit rounder through here. The hard edge comes up from here. So the rails will penetrate the water at high speeds, which obviously makes it performancy and they will come down into that hard edge going through the tail area. Now I'll flip the board over. You can see the template there as well. Look at that thing. What, what I love about this template is from my hand here, so my hand here, you can see how parallel it is. That will give you loads and loads of forward drive. And then as it gets to the fin in the outline, you'll notice it just drops away to this adds curve. It's almost like a mini hip. It's, it's so subtle, you can barely see it, but just from the back of the fins, it comes into a mini hip that pulls that tail in tighter, which means that certainly William Aliotti, his team rider, is, is getting a lot of pivot on and you can see that force. He's, he's loading up on bottom turns, which is crazy on a twin fin fish. It almost looks like he's, he's not surfing a twin fin on some of the power moves that he's doing. That comes through to a, a pretty standard, classically balanced swallow fish tail. And for me, this is where the board really gets interesting. Now, Ryan, very well known for his sort of you know, veed and hold bottom boards. What he's done here is he's really, really gone against that sort of, that concept of high line and splitting the water with his rails. And he's, he's gone into it with lift, which I think is essential on, on high performance surfing. So what you get from this board is relatively flat bottom shape in the nose, just a very, very, very subtle V just to break the water. And then as you get through here to the top of the, um, the curve on the outline, it starts into a concave which carries through the board, all the way through here, all the way through here, till it gets to the fins. More importantly, till it gets to the back of the fins. Even more importantly, till it gets to the point that he's added in the outline to, to create that subtle hip. Now, as soon as you get to that hip on the bottom shape, you end up with V. That V comes all the way out of the tail. So essentially what that's doing for the surfer is giving you lift and drive with the, with the straight edges. It's allowing a little bit more curve in the rocker on the rails, which you can see on this board. I'll, I'll flip it over again, just so you can see the rockers. It's not flat. I mean, it's not short board rockers, but it's certainly not flat, is it? He's contradicting parts of the board in a really nice blend that gives you drive forward momentum and then hold on speed through turns. Now, that V, in the bottom, everything through here is almost all about pivot, almost slowing down when your back foot's there, giving you pivot off the board. Everything forward of the fins is giving you speed, forward momentum and drive. Just the blend, you see it automatically. The first wave I saw William surf on this board through the footage, I was like, what is that thing? And then to think that you can pack 34 litres into a 5.9, it actually makes it a board that a lot of us can surf. Like I'm 85 kg and as you all well know, a super average surfer, I could comfortably jump on this board, catch waves and pretend I'm William Aliotti. <laughs> Um, but the results would be different. So fin wise, the fins are not crazy far back. He usually has them with futures and would suggest that for lighter riders, they use the piggyback template of his, of his futures. But you can, especially heavier riders, if you want to use uprights, just use your favorite keels. You can go slightly more performancy with upright ones, or you can go classic. That's going to give you the flavor of the board that you might prefer. 
but in terms of the design, everything coming together on this board, what you have is a performance twin fin that paddles like a groveler. Again, you can see from the footage that we're showing on this review video from William, it isn't a groveler, it goes in anything. Fish advocates are gonna absolutely love the freedom on the face and short borders are gonna love the fluidity and easy stabilities of a fish coupled with the fact that they can still shred into it. So it's a board for everyone, really. I'm blown away. I absolutely love this thing. It's, it's probably one of the nicest fishes I've, I've ever sort of personally seen as a shaper, adding the simplistic de design characteristics all together just makes sense. I'm a fan, I'm a huge fan. So that is the 5.9 Wheels Fish from Love Machine. It is a thing of beauty. They're also, is a 5.3 version, which is the original template that William rides, which comes in, still comes in at a whopping 30 litres. Um, we can do a review and look over that board on another video, but for now, this is the 5.9 Wheels Fish. It's available on our website and collab. Give us a ring if you want to go, if you want to pick your colour. So if you're after a performance fish, I have to say this is well beat. I have to say it's one of the best in the market and she looks and feels stunning.